Hello, Sebastian and Fabricio. I guess I should give a little bit more context because people were confused last time. So what happens is that I was accepted for a PhD in physics at the University of Illinois in Chicago, also known as UIC. And so the previous video was all about the experience of moving to a new city and a new country and coming across all of these different systems. And in fact, today I want to continue that conversation about systems by talking about one system that I didn't like. And that's how the library of this university is organized. Okay, first I should mention that I really love libraries. I really love that experience of walking between shelves with thousands of books and thinking I could read all of those books. Like, if they are novels, they are fiction, I can experience all those books. If they are non-fiction, if they are textbooks, I can learn everything those books have to teach. It's a really cool experience. It's like a buffet, but for your mind. So for example, let's say that you go to the sci-fi section and be like, hmm, what? What sci-fi I'm gonna have today? Mm, yes, I have. I think I'll have some Stanislav Lem. Oh, and tomorrow I have. I'll have some Ursula Le Guin. Oh, it's so great! I love libraries. But then uh, I went to the library in this university and I thought, oh, I'm gonna go to the sci-fi section. Uh, but I couldn't find it. I just walked around thinking that uh, eventually the the way the, the the library was organized was gonna become clear to me. But it didn't. I was, I was finding books about, with fiction uh, next to books of non-fiction, book, and, and they weren't organized by author. Just, I don't know, it was very confusing. And so I went back to, to, the, to the front desk and I asked them, like, hey, I want to find some, uh, uh, I want to, to read some sci-fi books. And they told me, okay, which book are you looking for? And I said, look, oh, I'm not looking for any specific book. I'm just, I just want to see the, your collection of sci-fi books. And they told me that that was not possible because the books in the library aren't organized by theme. They are organized by geography. Kind of like they are organized by a combination of where the author was from, where the book was written, where it was published. Like it's very confusing. Like I asked for more information but I don't know, they, they couldn't explain it to me. Like, I, I think they are not used for people coming to the desk and saying like, explain to me in detail how this library is organized. Um, so I, th I think I, I, I took them by surprise and so they, they weren't ready to answer, for, answer me in the, as, with as much detail as I wanted. Uh, but the problem with this is like, I was like, okay, so how do I find books in this library? Please tell me. And they told me like, okay, so just put the title of the book you want in this website. And, and I was like, no, no, just, I don't have any title in mind. I just want to find books of one specific topic. But apparently the library seems to be designed to make that impossible. Like it, it, it seems to be that, that this is the reason the, the, the library is organized this way to make it so that you can only find a book, a one specific book, if you have the title. It is really annoying. I don't know. Maybe they have some excellent reason to, to organize the library that way. But is that, that excellent reason, whatever it is, clashes with me specifically. And later, I went to the Chicago Public Library, and let me tell you, it is much better organized. It is organized by themes. My complaint is that fiction is just one big section. Uh, it is not subdivided by fantasy, science fiction, horror, or whatever. And so, for example, if I want to find all the books by Terry Pratchett, I can do that. If I want to find all the books by Ursula Le Guin, I can do that. Uh, so th that's fine. That's, but the problem is, it makes it harder to find new authors. Like before, in other libraries, if I go to the sci-fi section, I'm gonna find many authors I know, and I'm, I'm gonna find many new authors I have never heard. And so that, uh, that's how I discovered, for example, Stanislav Lem, because uh, the library in my previous university in, in Tech, El Tech de Monterrey, uh, it, ha it was organized this way. And so I would go to the sci-fi section, that's how I discovered Stanislav Lem, and now I'm a fan of him. And that's not possible with this way to organize uh, a library. And let me tell you, the best organized, well, that wasn't actually a library, it was a bookstore, it's called I think it's called Whetstones, and it's in the United Kingdom. And it's actually a franchise, there are many of them. And they are amazing, I love going there. And they are organized so well, you can find anything you want, you have a great selection of books. They didn't pay me for this, like, uh, like and this, is, this is not paid promotion, I just really like that, that, that bookstore. 
And I think that libraries should be organized like that bookstore specifically because it is so well organized. It was so amazing. I would go to the United Kingdom just to go to that bookstore to buy more books. Uh, I would like I, I would we like to go with a empty suitcase and come back with that suitcase full of books. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, I didn't like the way the library here is organized. That's one system that doesn't. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna get used to that. It's not gonna work for me ever. Like maybe if I ever want one specific book, maybe I'll use it. But that's not how I use libraries. It's just very annoying. Anyway, uh, thank you guys, and um, I'll see you next time.